Pipette should be checked daily for damages and visible contamination. If the pipette is contaminated on the outside, wipe it with a cloth dampened in 70% ethanol or a mild detergent. Wipe off the cleaning agent with a cloth dampened in distilled water. If the inner parts of the pipette are contaminated by liquid accidentally drawn into the tip cone or aerosols, you'll need to rinse the lower part with the cleaning agent and distilled water. To disassemble the lower part of pipettes up to one milliliter, push down the ejector button and pull off the ejector sleeve. Push the labeled ring upwards to release the lower part. Gently squeeze the piston mount to release it and remove the piston and piston spring. For large volume pipettes with two, five, or 10 milliliters, Unscrew the ejector sleeve before pushing the ejector button and turning the lower part 30 degrees to the right to loosen it. Unscrew the cylinder and the piston guide. Support the piston from below. With the other hand, push the piston holder down and carefully turn it 90 degrees to unlock the piston spring and the piston. Use a fine cotton swab to remove the piston grease from the cylinder wall. Rinse the lower part in ejector sleeve with a cleaning agent or immerse the parts according to the cleaning agent manufacturer's instructions. Rinse off the cleaning agent with distilled water and leave the parts to dry. Afterwards, re-grease the cylinder or for small volume pipettes below 20 microliters, the piston. Before cleaning the lower parts of large volume pipettes, you need to remove the protection filter. Pull out the filter sleeve, push out the protection filter with a pipette tip, and clean the filter sleeve. Carefully insert the piston with spring into the cylinder. Gently squeeze the piston mount and fit the stop pins in their retainers. Ensure the piston moves freely. Use a pipette tip to press down the piston from above. Insert the lower part into the upper part until you hear it engage and attach the ejector sleeve.
To assemble a large volume pipette, insert a new protection filter into the sleeve and push it back into the tip cone after you've cleaned it. Insert the piston and the spring into the piston guide. Attach the piston mount while pressing the spring into the guide. Rotate the piston mount 90 degrees. Insert the assembled lower part into the upper part, attach the ejector sleeve, and screw it on tightly. You can sterilize the pipette with UV light or H2O2 gas. All Eppendorf Research pipettes are fully autoclavable. Make sure to remove the protection filter of large volume pipettes before autoclaving though. You do not need to re-grease the cylinder or piston after autoclaving. Color tag marking rings are also autoclavable and UV resistant.